while, you're still going to do the fitness test to go through your own pace to see what your baseline is, what your standard is, and what you want to beat next month. And so you have a baseline numbers and set up. Before we do that, we're going to do a warm up. We're going to go over what the PFT is and warm up for that. We're going to hit the PFT. Then we're going to hit some cardio work uh, sessions, some rounds where you don't need any equipment, just body weight. We ready to roll? Let's do it. We're going to start stretching on just the one side, one leg here. We're going to stretch with a qu your quad stretch. You're going to hold for about two, three seconds. You're going to step it down and bring that same leg right back up for a knee, knee and hug. Bring that same leg down and be right back up. Cross over the left to stretch the glute. Two, three seconds. And then you're going to step forward with the left and stretch that right hip flexor. So all four stretches on this right side. Now do the same thing on the left side. Quad stretch for about two to three seconds. Touch it down just to regain the balance. Knee hug on the left side. Two, three seconds. Glute stretch on the left side for two or three seconds. And then hip flexor stretch here. Step over the right leg. Just stretch this back, left hip, and kind of turn away from it. Two or three seconds. Go right back around. Right back to that right leg now. Same thing. All four stretches. Quad, knee hug. Just gonna adjust this so we can see when I'm on the floor a little better. Quad for three seconds. Knee hug three seconds. Glute stretch three seconds. Hip flexor three seconds. Right back to the other side. And again, if there's it, you want you have a four down, you do this at your whole pace. I'll hold it a little longer. I'm holding you a couple extra seconds here. Just step down between to rebalance. Get that knee hug. Hold it. Bring it down, cross the leg over, stretch the glute, and then hip flexor. And we're going to get the upper body started. We're going to do four shoulder circles while we're walking forward. So getting those feet on, four shoulder circles walking forward, backwards, shoulder circles, walking backwards. Forward coming forward, backwards going backwards. Keep those feet moving. You need some space today, side by side to side. So if you have some space side to side, start thinking about where that's going to be. You can move with movements on the floor, side to side. Let's go a few more times. Forward, shoulder circles, back. And good. Go wide feet, wider than shoulder width. You're going to reach both hands down to the floor in the middle, touch the floor, get a stretch for a second, come up and reach both hands overhead. Long breath out. Then reach both hands to the right leg. When you come up, you're going to fling your chest open. When your chest open, open out to the side. Back down to the middle. So when you go to the middle, hands are going up. Now we're going to the left side. Whenever we go to the side, our arms are going to go out. Now out. So at your own pace now. Middle, up, right, out. Middle, up, go on your own pace. Don't follow me. Left, out. I'm gonna hold it down there a little longer. So middle, just gonna hold it for an extra second. Come up to the right. Ah, and go out. One more time. Middle and up. Left. If you haven't done this stuff in a while, 
Just go at your own pace, get a baseline number. Again, a minute of push-ups, a minute of squat thrusts, a minute of crawl-outs, and a minute of plank walks. The Tuesday PFT, you'll have two-minute break in between each. So to warm those up, we're just going to do like two or three reps of each to make sure we have the reps down the way we need it. So for the push-up, let's try it. Three or four reps. Feet together, hands under the shoulders. You're going to go all the way down to your chest. And fully extend your arms up. So just in about three or four of those, just to warm up the push-up position. You can angle the camera where we can see you when you're on the ground, when you're up and down, not just the ceiling. You can just tilt it down or drop, and we can see you better. Yeah, that'll work down there. So let's just hit five push-ups. Just five push-ups, chest to the floor, feet together, back straight. Let's do it, just five. And get as low down as you can handle. Do a minute of these. Get as low as you can handle it and drive it up. And that's good. So it's going to be a minute of those, with how many you can get in a minute. Two in a break, and then a minute of squat thrust. Squat thrust, you want to have your feet at shoulder width apart. You're going to touch the ground, jump both feet back, jump forward, and stand totally straight up. So you don't want to be slumping forward. So from the side, you let's hit three of these. Three is just to warm the movement up. Squat down, jump back, jump in, squat up. Control down, jump back, jump in. And up. Let's hit one more just to warm it up. And there's a squat thrust. You're staying up totally straight the whole time. So you'll do it a minute of those and keeping your count and keep track. You're going to log this so you know exactly where you're at. Then it's going to be a minute of crawl outs. You're going to have wide feet, wider than shoulder width apart. Squat down to the floor, get your hands to the floor, roll all the way out to a full push up position, crawl back in, and stand up. So let's hit three or four of these. You want your feet wider than shoulder width. Go all the way out, push up position, crawl back in, stand up. One more. Bring those feet a little wider. Bring the feet wider. You want them wider than the shoulder width. And up. So it'll be two minutes of those, and then uh, or one minute of those, and then a two minute break. Last one's gonna be a plank walk. So you can start in a low plank position. Forearms are parallel to each other. Two fists, elbows are under your shoulders, and you're just going to let go of that hand and come all the way up to the push-up position, and right back down to the low plank. You can go the same side, you can alternate sides, as long as you're getting up and down. Your hand should touch the floor exactly on the point where your elbow is. So let's do three or four of those. Body totally straight, abs strong. And that's good. So just come up right here, just come up, you go up on your feet. And before we do, we're going to start with that minute of push-ups. But first, let's finish stretching that. Get those upper, upper body ready. So bring the chest open. Hold that stretch for two or three seconds. Bring it open. So other side. A couple times each side. Stretch it. Bring it. And pay attention to these stretches because on the two-minute break, you're going to want to do a lot of these stretches on your own wherever you feel like you need to. So we're going to be on the clock for 60 seconds for a push-up. Then a two-minute break. You're going to hear the bell go. We're going to be on a timer. So the bell will start for 60 seconds. It'll, it'll ring when the 60 seconds is up, and then it'll be two minutes on that clock, and I'll count it down for you so you know exactly where you're at. All right, so let's get set up, ready for push-ups. Let's get set up for the push-ups. So it's going to be 60 seconds, as many as you can get. So get, in the down, get down on the floor, get in position. Let's start push-ups in three, two, one. Go one minute and keep your count. Get as low down as you can handle. All in the floor if you can. Chest touch the floor. Feet are together. Heel to heel, toe to toe. Let your feet touch together if you can. And see how many you can get in one minute. Without touching your knees down. You can't touch your knees down. Breathe it out. Push up. Into your nose down. Out your mouth up. Working your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. We still got over 30 seconds left. Keep working. Bang it out. 25 seconds, 25 seconds. Stay straight and strong. Perfect way to get warmed up for this cardio. 20 seconds. Get that back straight. 20 more seconds, 18 seconds. Do what you can. Just go at your own pace. This is just to get your baseline of where you're at. Just make sure you're keeping your count. As low as you can handle. You got five seconds, five seconds. You can squeak out one or two more. There you go. Those abs tight. Time. There's the bell. So it's a minute, but we're still going to take a, two, a full two-minute break 
So you can stretch those arms out, stretch those shoulders out because we want to stay strict in this time. So every month, it's exactly the same. It's a minute of the exercise and exactly two minute break in this exact order of exercises. So you can judge on your, your progress and how you improve. So again, the next is going to be the squat thrust. It's going to be 60 seconds. We're not going to get so a minute and a half on the break. Squat down, jump back, jump in, and come up. Not yet, not yet. We're waiting for, uh, we want to make sure you're ready for it. So just keep getting ready, stretch those quads, stretch those shoulders, especially if it's the first time that you've been back doing this in a while. You want to make sure you're stretched out, you're recovered. Use this full two minute break. Keep that blood flowing, stretch the shoulders. You're going to get plenty of cardio work once this fitness test is over. We're going to be going all out for the rest of the workout. So use this break. You need this break to make sure you get the maximum effort on the 60 seconds of the squat thrust. we got less than a minute left, and we're going to go. I'll count you down. Just keep moving, shaking, preparing, stretching, getting ready. This is going to be all out. This one's going to get your heart rate jacked through the roof. So make sure those legs are ready. Keep the blood flowing through your legs. Stretch those quads. All the stress we did earlier. Get those legs ready. Because you're going to be going nonstop, fast pace for 60 seconds. we got 30 seconds to go. Two minutes is a long time when you're just sitting around, but we need to stay consistent with the two minutes so that it's consistent every week and you have the exact amount of break time. So we got 20 seconds. Start mentally preparing for an all-out attack on the 60 seconds. It's going to be much faster pace than the push-ups. You're working your upper, your lower, your cardio. Squat thrust. It's squat down, jump back, jump in, stand up. You got less than 10. All right, we're going in five, four, three. Two, one, go. Squat thrust and down, down, in and up. As many as you can. When you jump forward, make sure your feet are apart. Don't be so close together. You want to be on your heels. When you jump forward, and more, bring your feet further apart when you jump forward. Further apart when you jump forward. So right here, bring them apart. Bring your feet apart. Once your feet apart, you don't want to be on your toes. You want to be on your heels apart when you jump forward. So you're here, look, you're apart. Squat down, jump back, jump in, and up. Abs strong, you jump those feet back. Keep going, you got 30 seconds. Make sure you're keeping track, keeping count of how many you're doing. Be even further apart when you're coming down. You want to squat face coming down. Back, jump in, squat up. Abs are strong the whole way. We got 12 seconds, keep rolling as many as you can get. Push the pace, challenge yourself. This is to get your baseline of where you're at. And time. Make sure you know your number. Make a mental load of your number. Or you have two minutes here of a break. So now write down your number. Write down your push ups. Write down your squat thrust number if you have a pen and paper around. And just don't forget the number. Stretch those legs out. We got crawl outs coming up. A non stop minute of crawl outs coming up. So after that 60 seconds of all out squat, there's your heart rate speed jacked up. You should need this full two minutes to get ready. So again, while you're on break, we're still crawling again. You're going to squat down all the way out to the full push-up position until your hands are lined up your shoulders. Crawl back in and stand up. We're not doing it yet. Don't start yet. But you need that full two-minute break so you get an accurate number. Crawling out to the full push-up position. Make sure you're stretching those shoulders, the chest, the arms. Only two more drills of this Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month, PFT. And then we get on to the rest of the workout. Keep moving and stretching. All those, you have less than a minute left of the break. All those stretches you did in the beginning to get those legs ready. So nice and loose and ready to go. Those quad stretches, the knee hugs, the glute stretch, the hip, hip stretch. Pulling open the chest. Keep the shoulders loose. Stretch the shoulders. Yes. Shake them, shake them. We got 25 seconds before we start the crawl outs. 25 seconds. Shake it. Start getting ready. Start picturing it. Picture that pace, that flow, that rhythm. This is all out 60 seconds to see where we're at. Make sure you keep track of your number in your head. You got 10 seconds. We're going to crawl. This needs to be all out. That two minutes should have been enough to recover, so fully recover, and ready to go. And go, crawl out. All the way out, full push-up position. Stand up straight. 
Get those feet wider, wider feet. Give your wide foundations. Look, keep wide. Put your feet apart, wider. Bring your feet apart. Open up those feet. Widen them up. Run a very wide stance. Wide feet, wide feet. There we go. Now they're getting apart. Pull it out. Full push up position. Working the chest, the shoulders, the thighs. Get those abs tight. Solid push up position when you're out there. Keep it strong. Keep it strong. You got 15 seconds. All out. Don't slow down. Don't lose the pace. Squat down. Fast hands out. Fast hands back in. Straight up. So don't stay slumped down down there. You got to be straight up. Extend those hips when you come up. So don't stay leaning over at the waist. And time. Two second break. Your heart rate should be up. Your shoulders, your arms should be working. Focus on stretching that upper body. So we have plank walk coming up. It's going to be more on your upper body. That low plank to high plank coming up. After this full two minute break, so stretch it, shake it. It feels slow paced right now, but you get this break, but that's just enough time to bring your heart rate down low enough that you can go all on the next set. And then we go straight right from there into the, the full regular sets. Got a minute 25 for the break. Minute 25 and we're rolling. You can hydrate, you can stretch, do what you gotta do. After recovery, get ready for the round. So it's the so it's, it's a plank walk. You got one minute left. I'm gonna show it to you again. Start low plank, forearms parallel to each other. Hand comes off the floor, right where that one elbow was. Other hand comes off right where the other elbow was. And right back down. Coming up, back down, plank walk. And I start yet though. You got 45 seconds. Shake it, stretch it. You got 25 seconds. No candy, no candy. No candy, no candy. Very good. Shake it, stretch it. You got 10 seconds. You got five walks coming up. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Plank walk, so from low plank, up to high plank. Right back down and up. Let's do it. Full pace, fast pace. Back needs to be straight, I need to be strong. Push the pace, push the pace. You can alternate which arm goes. Doesn't matter, make sure abs are holding you together. Don't forget you're here, forearms are piled, hands aren't touching. You're also lifting that arm off, so right where the elbow is touching on the floor, that hand is gonna touch right where the elbow is touching. Your hand is coming off the floor, lifting up that arm off the floor. Got 18 seconds. It is strong, 15 seconds. Don't lose your technique, keep pushing it. Right back up. Finish it, finish it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. And shake it. We're going to get to the regular round in a second. Give you a second just to shake it out. Recover. It's not going to be a full tuna break. We're going to get right to it. So you're going to need some space to move side to side on the floor so that you, you're not going to be shuffling, but you need some space. We're going to be moving. In a push-up position, and we're going to move it across the floor in a squat position. So we're just going to practice both of those real quick. Practice in the push-up position and practice the squat position walk. So before we even get to the round, all we're going to do is just practice the walk in the push-up position. So we're here just to get used to the space you have. Let's do it again. Just walk to the side. Whatever space you have to work with. And they come back across. So this is how we're going to get side to side in the real rounds. Once we get there, you're going to have an exercise to do on the side. 
So it'll be one round here where you're doing this high plank push up walk with a standing exercise on each side. And that's going to alternate you going to hop on your feet with a squat walk. Let's go squat down, stay low, and you're walking across the floor. On the end, you can just stand up, whatever space you have. Right back down and walk across. And so when you're walking across the floor in this squat walk, you're going to have an exercise on your arms on each end. So the push up walk is going to have an exercise on your feet on each end. This squat walk is going to have an exercise on your arms on each end. We're going to start with one or two reps, then the exercise. And every time you get to the end, we're going to increase the number of reps of the exercise. All right, that was just a practice. Hit. All right, we're going to get started in a real round in a second. Let's get the last few stretch of those quads. Stretch it, shake it. So we're going to start with a push up walk across the floor. Each end of the push up walk. So let's say I just got to the end. You want to get your feet for the exercise. We're going to start with two front kicks. I'm going to push up walk to the other side. I'm going to do three front kicks. I'm going to push up walk to here. Four front kicks. Push up walk back. Five front kicks. So we hop them onto our feet using a squat thrust to hit an exercise on each end. That's the way it's going to go. So let's go to push up walk. Going in three, two, one. Let's do it. So push up, walk to the side. You can follow right along with me. Once you're to the end, you're going to squat thrust up for two front kicks. Squat thrust back down to get down there and push up, walk back across. Squat thrust up. We're going to go three front kicks. Actually, four on this. Sorry, this one goes up by two. Four front kicks. Squat thrust back down. Walk across to the right, whatever space you have. Squat thrust up. Six front kicks. Squat thrust back down. Walk it across. Jump in and up. Eight, eight front kicks. Stuff like this, it has both sides. We're going to count by twos. Squat thrust down. Up the cross. Abs are strong. Back is straight. Jump in. Ten front kicks. Bend and extend. Brace those abs. Bend and extend. Kick it. Flip it. Drop back down. Squat thrust down. Squat thrust up. And front kick. Twelve. Oh yeah, pump it, bend the knee, extend. Breathe it out, whip it. And time. So this next set is gonna be a squat walk after you hit that 12. This next set's gonna be squat walk. Each end of the squat walk, we're gonna do shoulder taps. So look, check it out, you're down low. When you get to the end, whatever your end is, you're gonna do a squat press from there. You're gonna hit two shoulder taps, you're going to jump right back to this low squat position and walk across. So your break from that squat position is basically the shoulder taps. So we'll hit two shoulder taps, four, six, eight, ten, and whatever number up we're going to. Each round, you don't know what the number's going to be. It might be different every time. Let's do it in three, two, one. Drop down low. Get across the floor. Hold that squat position. Squat thrust down from that low position. And two shoulder taps. Jump right back to that squat position. You're staying low and walk back across. Bend the knees, sit on the hips and heels. Give the three. Jump back and four shoulder taps. Jump back in. Oh, yeah, those quads are burning. Ready. Stay low. Cross the floor. Jump back for six shoulder taps. Jump in and hold that low position. If you need to obviously you can stand up straight in between. But if you can, just stay low and you can jump up. Jump back for eight shoulder taps. Jump in. Walk it across. Stay 
Hello. Five pounds to the floor. Jump back. Ten. Jump in. Hello. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, the quads. Go back. For 12. And if you need to slow down, go at your own pace. To get your numbers in, do what you got to do. If you're watching the recording, pause if you have to. Work through the break. Jump up. And time. Nice round. Shake it. Stretch it. Watch it. Watch it. So we're going to go back to the push-up walk. It's going to be two jumping jacks on the end. The other side is going to be four, then six, then eight. So whenever we walk across the floor in the push-up position, our exercise is standing. Whenever we walk across the floor in the squat position, our exercise is down in the push-up position. So this is push-up walk with jumping jacks. Let's do it. Push up walk going in three, two, one, boom. Across the floor. Push up position. Hips down. You need to squat us to get up. Two jumping jacks. Two jacks. Squat. Squat thrust down. Walk it across. Push up position. Get on your ends. Squat thrust in. Four jacks. Squat those back down. She made a few workout then. Take that three punch and need all that. Twisting it. Unbelievable. Six jumping jacks. Breathe it out. Abs strong. Let on your feet, bounce on your step. And back to the push-up walk, walking across. If you start losing it, all you have to do is do just two or four jumping jacks in each end. Instead of increasing the number, if you need to modify it, modify the squat thrust foot, getting up and down also, just by squatting down, stepping back one leg at a time when you're in that push-up position. And walk across the floor, walk it back in if you have to, and hit your jacks. If going up in jacks or going up on the reps is too much, you just hit two reps every time and then move it off. So you can go at your own pace. Modify the movements. Back down. Can you're jumping it back? Abs are strong. Walking across. Jump in and up. Back to the jacks. Bouncing your step. Line your feet. If you need to modify the jacks, you come here and just step out one foot at a time. Once you have this pace down, don't wait for my count, you go at your own count. You do the pace that works for you. And we'll just all stop at the same time. Just keep increasing your reps every time you can. So don't worry about switching when I'm switching your exercise. I'm just walking you through it so you know what to do. Because you're all gonna be going at different pace. So you're gonna be all different reps. So we're not gonna switch at the same time. We'll just start the exercise together. And finish it together. Go at your own pace. And time on that one. Time. Nice. Big deep breath. Catch your breath. Hydrate. Do what you got to do. So we're on the squat walk. Coming up with push-ups. It's going to start with two push-ups. You squat walk across. Hit four push-ups. And you judge about the push-ups, the number you want to do. If you want to just do two full push-ups every time and not go up, you do what's going to work for you. If you want to start with one, go to two, go to three, go to four, you can do that. Or you can do two to four to six to eight. Pick the way that's going to work for you that you know you're capable of doing right now. So if you're not going to be increasing, that's fine. Maybe just hit two push-ups each end. And then each week, you'll just gradually... Get stronger and better. All right, let's do it. Squat walk. So we're down low. Squat walk to get across the floor. First, you know, we got to get down to that position and hit your push ups, whatever you decide to do. You can just hit two if you want. Jump right to that low squat and stay low. 
Walk it across. Back straight. Get down. Squat down. We're going to increase our push ups up the floor. Jump up. You can angle the camera a little bit so I can see a little more when you're on the ground. Just make sure your technique is where it needs to be. If it's possible on the next break, you can angle the camera a little bit. But wait for the break. Don't stop the set now. Increase your number. Or you can just stay the same number of push-ups each time. Whatever works for you. Jump down, you can increase it by one if you want. You can count by twos if you want. Jump in and stay low. Oh, get a little bit of Push them out there. Take it in. Head up, chest out. Drop down. Ab strong on those push ups. Leave it to chest. When you jump in, stay low. Oh, yeah. Breathe it out. Your chest straight and strong. And time. Round is over. Stretch those shoulders. A lot of work. Nice work, nice round. Catch your breath. Hydrate. Do what you got to do. You know we're coming back to the push-up walk coming up. So it's going to be a push-up walk with an exercise on each end. It's going to be a power squat on each end. This one, we're going to start with just one. We're going to build up to two, to three, to four. So power squat is just here. Pop, pop, and drop. Or again, with the reps. You're going to play with the reps. We're going to work for you. Maybe two reps on each side. Non-stop works for the exercise. Or you can count by ones. Or you can go two, four, six, eight. Whatever works for you. So it's push-up walk. Again, the power squat is bounce together for twice. Drop into a squat. That's going to be a power squat. Get a quick sip. Hydrate. Get ready for the next round. Absolutely nothing. All right. Let's do it. Push up, walk. You good? Ready to roll? Awesome. Let's do it. Push up, walk. Let's do it. Walk across. Jump up. Two power squats. Pop, pop, and drop. Flow right into that push up position. It all just flows together. Pop, drop. Pop, pop, drop. Go right to the push up position. Jump in. Like this round, I'm just doing two of each on each end. Or three, whatever. Whatever. Hips down. Hands lined up right into your shoulders. Body is straight and strong. Stiff the board. Jump in and flow. Right to your pop, pop, and drop. Right to the push up. Doing just two of each. I want to get quick, smooth transitions. Pop, pop, drop. Right away. Jump in. Pop, drop. Oh, yeah. Fast pace round. Just doing two of each. Those legs are working. Oh, yeah. It's like you're doing the push up walk. You want a break. But your legs give you a break. But then you're like, shit. I got my leg, legs need a break. So you go back to the push up walk. You're like, oh, shit. My arms need a break. It never ends. So win, win. Situation. Keep it rolling. Push it across. Ab strong. Jump in. Hop, hop, drop. Hop, hop, drop. Right back down. Now we're in the flow. Now we got a rhythm going. Oh, yeah. Finish strong. Drop. Hop, hop, drop. One more. Get across the floor. Y'all started together. 
We'll finish together. Doesn't matter what rep you're on. Time. Woo. Fast pace round there. You know we're on squat walk now coming up. After all those power squats, you need to keep those legs loose and stretched. Stretch them out. So we have push up walk with plank jacks. So at the bottom or on the ends is just plank jacks. For you're here, you do two of each, jump forward and go right that squat walk. So it's squat walk across and plank jacks on each end. Again, play the same game with the exercises on the ends. You could do just two, 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 two. Or you could do one, two, three, four. Or you could do two, four, six, eight. Play with the numbers, challenge yourself, but be smart about it. Especially if you're just getting started again. All right, let's do it. You ready? Good, awesome. Let's roll. This is the squat walk, squat walk. So the squat walk to get to the end. Let's go, let's do it. Get to the end, drop down for a true plank jacks. You're gonna break my ankles. Stay low. Come back. I'm gonna go to four plank jacks. So again, you can go twos and two. You can go one, two, three, four. You can increase by two every time. Do what you gotta do. I'm going to six. Six. Come in. You don't think you have to count up that high, you don't have to count by twos. Just go with what you can. You can just do two every single time. As a strong, back is straight on those plank jacks, bouncing your step. Woo, those legs will be burning. They are burning. Boots, quads, hammies. One, two. Great, you're going to 10, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, back in and get low. Pass in the grass, woo, come back. We're going to 12, two, three, hands on your shoulders. Five, six, seven, half strong. Nine, eight, one, go, and time. These rounds will get you time, time, time. Nice work. Nice round. We're going back to the push up walk and it's going to have squat jumps on each end. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to start with one squat jump. The other time, I'm going to go to two. Push up, walk across, three. Push up, walk across, four. Now, you don't have to do it that way. You can just do one squat jump each end the whole time. Or two squat jumps you can the whole time. Or you can progressively count like I'll be doing here. But we're not going yet because that last round was a lot in your legs. All these rounds a lot in your legs and your arms. So we need those legs ready for the squat jumps. So have active recovery this entire time. Be ready for the next round. Stretching it. Shaking it. Hydrating it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Catch your breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Get ready to roll. All right, let's do it. Push up, walk with squat jumps on each end. Got it? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Push up, walk. Squat jumps, and then back to the push up walk. I start with just one, I'm gonna increase one rep every time. So push up walk across, now I'm going two squat jumps. Squat thrust down to get down there. You don't even realize you're getting a squat thrust on every single transition. You've already quite done 100 squat thrusts already. Three squat jumps. Squat thrust down, walk it across. Back is straight and strong. Working your chest, shoulders, try. We're gonna work. Round four. Woo! Yeah! Now 
allowing it to cure suffering. Jump in for five. One, two, hold it. Three, four, five. Come on, touch down. This sucks. This sucks. What it's supposed to do. Just keep it safe. Keep it smart. Go to your own pace. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Down. Go back. Walk across. Let's do it. We got seven. 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 Two. Three. Four. Oh, yes, yes. Watch us down there. You can still get the damn legs. I can. So just fall towards the floor. Do what you gotta do. Watch us up on an eight. One, two, three, four, five. Modify if you need to. So you can just do regular squats if you have to. The jumps don't work. Just do regular squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. Let's nice try. Walking across. Last one. We're going to go out with a bang. Rip ten. Go. One, two, three. There you go. Let's do squats. Five, back. six, seven, eight, Be smart about it. Nine, ten. And time. Time, time, time. Oh, yeah. Those legs are feeling it. Walk it off. Shake it out. How you feeling? Eduardo, hanging in there? Look like you barely missed a step. You're hanging going full speed there. Nice work. Shake it, stretch it. Good part. Good news is, squat jumps are done. Bad news is, now we go to the squat walk on the next round. So his legs are nice and fried. Now we go squat through, squat walk. All we're doing on each end. Or a half of a squat thrust. So it's squat walk to get there. When you get there, you're just here. Both feet are jumping forward and back. We're just gonna do two on each end. Two there, two there, that's it. Or we'll increase it if you want, same game. All right, let's do it. Squat walk. Go. So it's squat walk and then half squat. Though. So from down here, come back and forward two times. Jump right back to the squat position and walk. So it's just both feet coming forward and back, like a half of a squat thrust. I'm going to four. One, two, three, four. Oh, the squat. The legs just do not get a break. Woo! The heart rate does not get a break. It's on six. Three, four, five, six. Woo! Right into the squat walk. Oh, yeah, that's what we're here for. Some pain and suffering. We're out weak and lazy. And where we get, where does it work out? That's freedom. Gets, gets to play games. And eat all weak chocolate. And those who don't, don't. Huh? Ten. Who? Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh my goodness. Woo. Last one. Go to twelve. Hold the line. Get back. For twelve. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
And time. Nice work. Shake it, break it. Recover. Walk it off. Make sure you're keeping it safe. Find your joints when you're coming up and down. You know if you should, could jump or if you can't jump, modify it. It's like when we're going up and down, you have to at this point. You just step one leg back at a time. When you come in, you step one leg back. Sometimes you have to. Modify it. So you don't know what we're doing. Strain something. It's late in the game. Your leg's going to be a little tired. A little shaky. So you might not be able to jump with them. Do what you can. Do what you got to do. We got push-up walk with pop squat. So we know a push-up walk already. Pop squat is just like, so the power squat earlier was two pops and then drop. This a pop squat is just one pop. So it's literally pop, touch with right, pop, touch with your left hand, pop, touch with your right hand, pop, touch with left hand. All right, that was way too many demonstrations of that. And they still have to do it. Do it on your face. Oh, no. Woo! Oh, I do. All right. So push up, walk, and then pop squats. We're going to go two, four, six, eight. Working our way up. Push up, walk. Going in three, two, one. Attack. Push up, walk. Get down. Jump in. Pop and drop, just two. Flow right to the push up walk. You have these movements all flow together from bottom to top. Now, four. One, two, three, four. Go fast, this going to show the pop again. If you need to modify, you just step out to the right and touch with the left. Step out to the left and touch with the right if you need to. Try not to lean over at the waist. One, two, three, four, oh, five, five, six, six, flow, right into that push up walk. Get back in, pop squat, right that fingertips to the floor. If you can, if you can't go it down, don't lean over the waist, don't strain your little back. Oh, you're sitting there. I'm not going to need your stuff with your socks and whistle. Keep moving. Right to the push-up walk. Cruising. Hands under the shoulders. Oh, yeah, moving on 12. Yeah. Woo! Go! Ah. Ah, left hand. Right hand. Don't hang over the waist. Keep your head up. Sit on your hips and heels. Chest out. Eight. Going to 12. Nine. Ten. One, go. Time. Holy crap. Holy. Time, time, time. All right. Stretch them legs. Stretch them legs. You know we got squat wall coming up. On the end, we're going to do mountain climbers. We're going to go two mountain climbers, four mountain climbers, six, eight, ten. Who knows where we're going to? Push up, walk. So mountain climbers, stretch those legs. So the mountain climbers will be here. One leg forward, one leg back, jump and switch. It'll literally be the first set. Two. Next set, it's four total. So one, two, three, four. The next set will be six total, eight total. If you're not going to increase your reps, just do four total on each side. So it'll be two each leg. So literally just one, two, three, four. If increasing the reps is just too high, just stick with four on each side. And that'll work. You're ready. Stretch them. Shake them. Prepare them. Oh, yeah. This is some dirt. That's some dirt for me. Covering dirt. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we're on squat walk. Squat walk with mount climbers. Let's do it. We're walking. We're walking. Go, jump back. One, two. Literally just two there. The first set. Twenty tile. That's a joke. We're going four total here. Squat jumps back. One, two, three, four. Woo. Jump back. First six climbers. Okay. Go. Hi. Hips. Control it. Back to 
that slot position. Don't just stand up. Both feet jump forward into that position. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Those quads are on fire. You can cook some eggs. You can fry some eggs on those quads or some bacon. Oh, if you eat bacon, that's just disgusting. No, the bacon. Poor Kate. Poor little Willie. Ah, who's that, Ben? Stay low. Stay low. Yeah. Come back. This is 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, And time, time, time. Recover. You're pushing the pace of these. You're holding that squat on the squat ball. Your legs should be roasted by now. All right. This one's going to be more of a core round. It's going to be leg lifts on the push up set. We're going to combine a few things together. This one we're going to stay together. I'm going to call it out. So when you on the push up walk, when you get to your left side, you're literally going to roll onto your back and hit four leg lifts. Four. That's it. We're not going to change the number. You're going to roll right back to the push up position. When you get to your right side, you're going to roll and hit eight flutter kicks. So it's four leg lifts on your left side, eight flutter kicks on your right side. With the push-up walks, you're just rolling over here. You don't have to do spot thrust. You just get to roll over. Let's do it in three, two, one. One, go. Don't forget, on your right side is eight flutter kicks. Roll, flop. Oh, that would be easy. Eight flutter kicks. Roll right back up to the push-up position. When you get to your left side, it's going to be four double leg. Leg lifts. Back up. All the way across. Roll. Flutter for eight. Fake horse hair in my face. I'm trying to work out. My poor horse. Horse shit. Flip. Double leg leg lifts. Make sure lower back is pinned to the floor. Straight and strong. Tight. Yes, flip. Push up. So the right side, you know, is eight flutters. Flip. And double back four. Constant tension on the abs. Flutters. Double leg lifts. Leg lifts are my worst. Walk it across. Flip. And four leg lifts. Oh, yeah. It doesn't get any better for your abs, for your whole body. Time. Shake it, shake it. Now we have the squats. Pay attention. So on the right side of the squat, you're going to do four supermans. So you have to get down there. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Come up. You hit your squat walk. On this end is just two plank walks, what we did in the test. So it's just two times. Down, up, there's one. Down, up, there's two. So it's squat walk. The right side is four Superman total. The left side is two plank walks. This is the last round of the day. Finish it off. Let's bang it out. In three, in two, in one. Squat walk. Remember the what? Squat walk to the right. On the right side. So squat for us back. Four Superman. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. Four times total. It's the side. Jump back in. Right side squat. Walking across. Your arms are nice and sliding, it's slipping like mine. You'll be slipping all over the place in this bike walk. It's just two. Up. 
It says two plank walks on the left, four supermans on the right, four total. So that's just two each side. This is the last round of the day. Woo! Best thing you heard all day, isn't it? Ha! Come back. I walk down and up for one. Other side down and up for two. Jump. Get low. Ash in the grass. Pump it. Squeeze the roots. Jump back. One, two, three, four. Jump and hold. Get freaking low because this is the last rep of the day. Ah, down for one, other side, for two, jump up, we are time, and we are Good job. done, Good. fist bump, <laughs> hairy knuckle fist bump for you, Good job, nice Michael. work, first day back, was an easy one, one second, just gonna, Cut the recording.